Hello and welcome to another Ask Narita Joy video. I have a familiar face to all of you here on my table today, Juliet, and her skin looks great. I haven't seen Juliet in six weeks, which was the last time we did a little treatment on her, and she's been out of town, so today's the first time I am seeing her. And if you remember back on the photos that we had on Juliet, she uh, is a, um, a ballerina aren't you? Dancer. <laughs> and she's 18, is that right? Still 18? Yes, 18. 19. Oh, 19. Yes. Okay, she's 19. And um, if you remember back in those first photos when we first started with Juliet, she had a lot of scarring on her forehead. And if you remember back to the first video I did, I did not do any extractions on her forehead, but she just had an abundance of scarring. Um, her cheeks are so much better too now. She's been using her home care regimen, her products, and her skin's improved dramatically. So I'm excited for her to be back to do a little boosting treatment on her skin and for you all to see how great her skin looks. So we're going to start off with the cleanser and I'm going to do um, a little bit of cleaning on her today. Not very much. She doesn't have very much extractions at all but we are going to, um, to work this into her skin. This is a K cleanser. I know we're going to slip some of her old photos in there for you all to see where her skin used to be. I can feel just by touching her skin, because as I said, it's been six weeks since I've seen Juliet. Um, her skin feels really good. Her skin, um, it feels healthier and uh, it just feels really good. It's not as bumpy. Um, her forehead wasn't bumpy before, but her cheeks were a little bit. And, um, but she had a lot of scarring on that forehead. So that's lightened up tremendously. She's been really good on her regimen. I can see her skin is very clean around her nose. Her pores are tiny and, uh, and she's been really good. So I always say, remember when you are cleansing to make sure that you do those circular motions, especially on the cheeks, you are getting under that fine facial hair and really cleaning the skin well because cleaning is very important that you cleanse your skin well. Don't be lazy with cleaning. It's really important. It keeps your pore size small and uh, we don't want large pores. So it's really important that you keep your skin clean. Okay, so I've got my disposable sponges here today and we're going to remove the cleanser, the sponges. Uh, Juliet, is this the third facial that we've done on you um, on camera? Yes. Third, third on camera. And then we just had done that one in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So third facial on camera, fourth facial for Juliet. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do an exfoliation on her skin. So what I'm doing now is the exfoliation after cleansing. It's exfoliating mask and I'm going to put it directly on her skin. I'm not mixing this one with um, the healing gel. I'm doing it directly. Her skin looks great. It feels really great. I had somebody ask me, what's the difference between moisturizing and hydration? An oily skin needs hydration. For, for a skin to heal and for, for a skin to be healthy, and what helps an oily skin, an oily congested skin, is you have to keep the skin really hydrated because that's what, that's what helps your skin to heal quickly. Moisturization, you don't want to overnourish. An oily skin doesn't need a lot of moisturization because it has oil in it to moisturize it and keep it lubricated. So, but what hydration is, is it really, it's, it's feeding the skin water. It's feeding it, it's helping it to be dewy and healthy. Uh, moisturization is different. Moisturization is protecting, it leaves a film on the skin. It, um, you know, it stops sometimes things for getting in and things for coming out on certain moisturizers. So moisturization and hydration is different. You can be talking about hydration on an internal level. So when your levels in your skin are really dehydrated, that means that your organs are dehydrated. Your skin is just a reflection of what's going on on the inside. So it's really important that you keep your body hydrated and healthy. And being that our bodies are made of more than 70% water, it's really important to, to keep flushing and keep that water moving so it doesn't get still and stagnant in the body. 
So hydration is keeping your levels hydrated, but it's also keeping your organs hydrated. And that's what we do a lot with drinking waters and, uh, and also certain serums and things that are not really nourishing, but they're hydrating, uh, like uh, hyaluronic acid serums are really healing and they're really hydrating, but they're not necessarily nourishing and suffocating to the skin. Okay, so we've exfoliated uh, Juliet's skin. I'm gonna use a little bit of healing gel on her skin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work just a, a small amount of the stronger retinol and a little bit of the flavonoid into her skin. Just for a few minutes, we're going to do a little bit of extraction on her forehead, where today I can see she's got a little congestion, not much but maybe half a dozen on her forehead. Um, her cheeks look great, but I will be looking under the light and really sort of inspecting it a little bit more after we do the work in the flavonoid and the retinol. So while I'm massaging, I do want to um, just mention something else. I recently came back from Australia and last week and I was um, uh, going, I, I grew up in the country about six hours out of Sydney and my younger brother, who's a couple of years younger than me, had picked me up from the airport and I had to uh, sit behind. Of course, I offered to drive, but they were all very nervous about that, driving on the opposite side of the road. Um, so I sat in the back and I sat behind my younger brother. And I had posted a photo on Instagram, which I will have um, uh, in this video as well for you to see right now a picture of what I was looking at with my brother's neck. And I was mortified that his neck was so old looking with all these wrinkles. So I, um, I want you to see what his face looks like and I want you to see his neck and to see the difference. He has really beautiful skin on his face, but his neck was horrific. So for all of you guys out there, and for all of you women who have really short hair, make sure, or even not necessarily short hair, just that when you do go out, and if you are an outdoorsy kind of person, you need to protect your neck and the back of your neck. If you have shorter hair or you've got your hair tied back, it's really important that you are, you're protecting it and protecting it with either clothing or protecting it with sunscreen. So if you see these pictures that, the, the one that I took on my brother, which I know you've seen now here, and his face, it's completely different. So clearly he tells me he puts sunblock on his face. And after that photo that I took and showed him, I can assure you he's putting sunblock now on his neck as well. So I just wanted to say, don't forget about the back of your neck. If you've got short hair, you need to be protecting it. Okay, so now back to Juliet. We have worked in a little bit of the retinal serum. I've worked in some of the Q flavonoid on, in, into Juliet's skin. And as I said, her skin is looking so great. It's just going to get better and better. I am going to up her retinal. I've had her on a retinal cream. I'm gonna be giving her a retinal serum now, which is a little bit stronger. Her skin can now take it. It's going to change her skin. It's going to help lighten up her scarring even more and it's going to just be so great for her skin. So what I'm going to do now, I just worked it in. This is just a little pick-me-up treatment. Uh, once you get your skin to a certain level and you get your skin and you're using the right home care products, you don't need to necessarily be having facials so much if you're really keeping your skin clean and you don't have an abundance of oil. Juliet's skin doesn't have an abundance of oil. And if you look back in the very beginning, as I said, her pore size down her nose has always been next to nothing. She's got really good skin, but she just had this horrific scarring on her cheeks and on her forehead. So um, the oil activity was not her problem as much as just the hormonal things that she was dealing with on an internal and the inflammation that was held in her skin, the color, the the ruddiness, it was very inflamed and just ruddy. So we are gonna do a little extraction. I'm going to remove this flavonoid now and the retinol that I've worked into her skin. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning on her skin, which means just half a dozen that I need to extract. And, uh, and then we'll be putting on a little AHA on her skin and then a mask. I've just finished extracting Juliet's skin. We cleansed, we exfoliated. I'd worked in a little bit of the Q flavonoid and the retinol serum just for five minutes. 
Um, sometimes I use steam, sometimes I don't. When I'm doing a shoot, I don't usually use steam. And uh, today I could count on um, both hands a couple of times how much I had to extract from Juliet's skin. We had probably about eight little congested bumps on her forehead that I took out. She had a couple on either side by her hairline and she had I think like three or four on the cheek, two on the nose because her pores are so small on her nose and she's really doing a great job with cleaning. And she had a couple on the chin only and again there was like three or four on this side of her face. So she really didn't have a lot to extract at all. And as I said, I don't even know that we did extractions last time I saw her six weeks ago. She really doesn't have a lot of extractions. And I know she's doing a great job at really keeping her skin clean, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna do a fruit complex number one on her. I don't wanna do the one for really oily skin because she doesn't have a lot of oil in her skin. She has a little bit and in unusual areas, um, she's got like little bits here and a little bit on her nose, but not even as many blackheads on the nose as, uh, nose as I do, and I'm a combination dry skin. Her pore size is very small around her nose. She has very minimal oil on her chin and, and on her forehead as well. So I'm gonna do a fruit complex number one on her. I'm gonna leave it on her skin a couple of minutes and uh, then we're gonna take it off and put a mask on her. Now, one thing Juliet had asked me after I finished extracting her, she said, how is it that you manage to get all of the uh, infection out when, when I do it? Because she said when she does it, she doesn't. And I just said to her, you know, there is obviously, you know, all of us Estes out there, we have been trained to be able to extract. And uh, sometimes that's always not uh, necessary. You know, a lot of Estes would say, I've never been trained how to extract properly. And I know a lot of you want to see me do extractions on camera. And um, I don't want to focus on that. I've been asked to show how to extract correctly. And at some point I will be doing more on that. But I know there are a lot of pimple popping uh, videos out there to watch. Um, but you have to just make sure that when you are doing extractions that you are getting it all out because if you're not getting it all out, it will leave a mark where you've um, extracted. It's really important to get the infection out. If you're going to attack it, you need to get it out. And of course, you can't just keep on going and cause a, create a big mess, but it's important to be able to identify what it is that you're going to remove and not remove. So with the pustules and um, the painful papules and the cystic type acne, you know, a lot of it um, you can't remove because you spread infection underneath. So it's really important to, to know that. But when you see the little white bumps on the skin, not milia, but when you see the other types of little bumps that you can squeeze and they come out very easy, those types of things you need to get it out because those are the types of little bumps that you get from dairy and too much fat in the diet or just not too much fat but just that your body doesn't digest it and doesn't work well with that type of fat. So I'm always, um, you know, very often taking dairy out of people's diets and as you would know from Kelly, uh, her videos that her big thing was her diet um, which she ate a lot of dairy and eggs, that's another one that I do take out. So um, it's just important to get it out and that way you, you won't be left with a mark and also the, you know, it's important to get the infection out so that, um, so your skin heals really quickly. So we've got the fruit complex on Juliet's skin. As I've said, I probably would not have removed any more than 20 things on her face today. It was probably more, um, maybe 15, something like that. Um, about half a dozen on her forehead, a couple on the sides here, um, you know, three or four on her cheeks and a couple on her chin. And she had like two blackheads on her nose. I mean, that's crazy. Who has just two blackheads on their nose? But it's just because her pore size is so small and she really does a good job of cleaning her skin, which is so important. Okay, we've left the fruit complex on her skin for a few minutes. I'm now going to remove it with cool water and my sponges. Juliet was um, driving back from Arizona this morning and she had texted me at about, was it like five in the morning? Mm -hmm. Five o'clock in the morning to say, what were you saying again? I forget. Oh, just what time. <laughs> oh, what time to come here tonight. And I answered her back and she's like, oh my gosh, you're up so early. 
And I s wrote her back and I said, I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> and she was like, what? You haven't gone to bed. But for all you fans out there, I don't, um, about five nights a week, I stay up very late until often three, four or five o'clock in the morning answering your questions in the comments of my YouTube channel. And I do that because it's important to me to try and help a lot of you, obviously. And that's why I'm doing this. So, um, so do know I really do do that. I'm up very late answering all your questions and I'm happy to do it. Um, I don't sleep a lot. But, um, and of course I probably look like I don't sleep a, not a lot, but um, it's important to me that I answer as much as I can. So, um, and try and help all of you all over the world because we have so many fans all over the world and that's amazing. So thank you for your support. Okay, so I've removed it with cold water and sponges. I'm now going to use some healing gel on the skin, which I like to do after I've done any alpha hydroxy acid on the skin. And I'm going to be putting a mask on her skin now and I'm going to use the herbal mask. So as I said, today is fourth facial. Am I saying the right thing, Julia? Mm -hmm. Fourth facial. Look how amazing her skin is after four facials. And um, you all saw what her skin used to be like when we first saw her. She has been very good about her home care regimen using her products. Uh, it's not an, an abundance of products that she has to use. But it is really important to understand that the type of product that you use and that you use products that are right for your skin. Because if you just have a bunch of products that you're using and they might be expensive and they might be really good products, but they just may not be right for you, then you're wasting your money and your time. So products are designed for specific concerns and it's important that you use the right ones for you. There are a lot of good products out there. Um, I talk a lot about Rejuvi because they have been my tools that I've used for 30 years. And obviously I like them very much. And if you are using products that are working for you, then that's fantastic. If a product is working for you, your skin should not be surface dry and you shouldn't have large pores and you shouldn't have congestion. So that's really important to understand. I had someone on my Instagram today um, had said to me that, you know, it's really important that an oily skin person knows that it's important to keep your skin hydrated um, almost more than it is to exfoliate your skin. And I wrote back and I said, exactly, that is correct. Because if you are a, an oily skin, if you are not, if your skin is surface dry and your layers are not hydrated, your skin is not going to heal. And it's also going to keep a lot of the congestion and, and a lot of the stuff under your skin. It's very, very important, which is why I talk so much about surface dryness. It is a huge problem, surface dryness, in, in what I see, and especially living in a climate where it's not really humid. Uh, everybody here is so surface dry, um, you know, or certainly most people. But what she did say is that if your skin is hydrated, you don't need to exfoliate. And I said back to her on Instagram, that you're absolutely right, which is why I personally don't have to exfoliate my skin. And if I do exfoliate my skin, it might be once or twice a year. And seriously, and it's probably if I'm having a treatment that that happens, but my skin is not surface dry because I, you know, I use protective products on my skin that leave a little bit of a film on my skin, but also I use retinols at night and I use alpha hydroxy acids in the day. And when your skin is working correctly, you don't need to use an exfoliant. So even someone like Juliet's skin today, her skin was not really surface dry, which is why her skin is functioning better because her skin is healthier, it's hydrated. So it's really important that you understand this. Most people that come to see me they need to be exfoliated because they're not using the right products on their skin. And so it's, it's, it's important to understand what I'm saying that, you know, I don't have to use a whole bunch of things on my, I don't use a toner, I cleanse, I use a serum and my moisturizer. And, and I'm, I'm good about my sunscreen. But you know, if you, you understand, you don't have to use a bunch of stuff if you're using the right things that are for your skin, but you have to know what that is. And, um, and hopefully you will learn from what I'm saying and be able to make better choices 
with your products and with ingredients. So that's, uh, hopefully I'm helping you all with that. So we've got the mask on her skin. I'm not going to leave it on a long time on her skin. It's drying a little bit on my hands. I need to wash my hands right now. So we'll be back shortly to take off Juliet's mask. Okay, so we have removed Juliet's mask and now I have a little healing gel we're going to put on her skin. Her skin looks amazing, it looks so great. So we are doing that and I'm going to um, put a little bit of the retinol on her skin, a little bit of Q-flavonoid, mix it and then she'll be going home. It is very late here tonight and uh, she'll be going home to sleep so we certainly don't need to be putting any anything else too much on her skin. Little eye gel, little retinol, little Q-flavonoid and she's good to go. Okay, a little bit of Q, a little bit of retinol. I've mixed the two together and we're going to put that on her skin. As I said, I'm a little heavy handed with my product. I do love my products, but I'm using a little bit too much. Um, certainly more than you should be the home. And once I work this in just for a minute, I'm gonna put a little bit of the eye gel around her eyes in a complete circle and she's good to go. But look how gorgeous her skin looks. It just looks great. We did a little extraction on her, hardly any, a little extraction, so. Okay, we are all done. That was uh, just a shorter treatment. She really didn't need a whole lot. She's got her great home care regimen and it was so great to see Juliet. We hadn't seen her for six weeks. Um, her skin looks amazing, she looks beautiful and I'm really happy for her that her skin is so healthy. It just is going to get better and better as time goes on. I'm going to up her retinol a little bit. I'm going to take her from using the retinol cream to a retinol serum, which is a little bit stronger. It's gonna help just finalize those little marks on her cheeks and just help her skin to be even better. So thank you for watching another Ask Nera to Joy video. Um, thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.